Hi, I'm Peter O'Keefe. Welcome back to a Golf Strong short video. And today I'm just going to talk about speed and sequence, okay? Because they do go hand in hand. Bear in mind, if your sequence is out and you work on speed, you are speeding up that sequence, okay? So in order to fix or become more aware of what a proper sequence should feel like, again, just understanding that from the backswing to the downswing, we need to use the ground. You'll hear a lot of terms, pressing into the ground, etc. They're not necessarily conscious feels that people like to do in their swing because from backswing to downswing, it takes that amount of time. So it's creating external feels via exercises, I find, work best for players. So what do I mean by sequence? Again, from my downswing, my legs work first, then the weight or the power gets transferred into my upper body, my lead arm, and then the club in that order. If I was to skim a stone, rotate, and let the stone go last. We don't even think about it, yet we do it in correct sequence. So, I'm gonna do a couple of exercises. Again, you can work into a normal session, one exercise, 10 reps, extend the amount of sets to extend that session. Make sure you warm up and be ready to do some speed and power exercises using a band, a weighted ball, and a dumbbell if you have all three. If you really wanna go further, I'm gonna show you a little bit of momentum training with the driver towards the end and hit a shot again. That's probably for, for when you've trained for this for a little bit longer. But again, I just keep coming back to being in the right place at the right time so you can create maximum power with your main energy source, which I keep referring to as your engine around your mid-body here. Okay, so the first one. If you just wanna grab your dumbbell, and again, we'll, I'll move through a couple of exercises here. So we have this one, did this one before, the golf squat, which is down, rotate, and press. This time I just want you to sit into that trail leg or your back leg and push back down and push. So now I'm using the ground. I'm getting the feeling in being in the right place at the right time for three, for two, for one. And again, I keep referring to dominant side as a right-handed golfer, which I am. If you're a left-handed, just flick it around to what suits for you. Let's do it as a left-hander. Push, up, back, up. So I'm loading and pushing for three more, for two, for one, and relax. Great, so if you don't have dumbbells, you're simply at the driving range using your band. So again, let's go hip to hip, hip to hip. I'm using my feet, left foot off, right foot off. And for three, two, one, rotate and push up back into it lovely stuff so now we're using the ground did this one on another session this can be used as a mobility as an activation or as a speed and power movement rotate and push let's do two more and breathe rotate and push keep it going for one rotate and push these movements are suitable to golfers for at all levels, beginner to elite. Bear in mind, having correct sequence, moving your weight, creating power is pretty much what the game is all about these days. Other direction, good stuff. Move and push, well done. So the higher you push, the straighter your arms and the more turn you can create. You're getting a lovely stretch through your lats and push. Last two. Good stuff, keep it going, turn and push. And without being too conscious about this, you are training a much more efficient sequence, okay? So if I just move into a weighted ball, I've got handles on these ones, it can be just a normal medicine ball. Same thing, let's advance it a little bit. Let's move the momentum to my shoulder height. Same principle, one. Now my legs have to react more, turn and push. Shoulders and feet reacting together. Turn and push. Good stuff. So now we're working in, we're moving into momentum training, which is very extremely useful and effective for people who want to increase their club head speed. Let's go into the other direction. And again, if you're doing this as a full session, your sets are 10 and other direction. Lovely. One, two, keep it going three, react and push. Two more, so shoulders, legs reacting. This is a great one for switching on your glute muscles. Turn 
and push. Last one. Good stuff. Keep going. Turn and push. Excellent. So just on sequence again before we finish. Get used to practicing just the movement. So your feet are reacting. One, two, turn and fire. If I was to do it with the ball again, you'd see how my body's going to shift and rotate at the correct time. One, two, and fire. So just get used to the movement through exercises. The more you do it, the more you'll become aware of where your body is. This is not going to interfere with your technique. This is about your body. Hope you enjoyed that one. Really work on that one. That gives players a lot of positive dividends of just where they're moving and improves their overall performance. See you at the next video. Thanks very much.